In last week's quant updates, we were preparing for this head and shoulders slash descending triangle. But equally, if we wanted to take the bullish path, this key area of support at $126, between $126, this 200 daily moving average, as well as this green line, $128, this $2 support must hold to invalidate this descending triangle slash head and shoulders, which literally over the last two weeks now, we have been talking about on this channel. So if we were to lose this green line, which again is 128, we are yet to close the daily below it. Again, we had some days where we were, but today in 11 hours time, will we close below $128? This is what we're looking for. But again, we do have a wick low, the one fib level. Again, I did prepare this in the last update, thankfully. So I do have your bearish targets here. Again, two weeks ago, we were talking about this green line. And if we were to lose $126, you do validate a target back down to 100. Now, equally, you can stop earlier and come back up inside. So we do have the 1272 at $120 being the bottom of this gold box. Where does this gold box come from? It comes from this low to the top over here. And you can see at $120 is the 618 where is where it's pretty much where we flipped everything bullish over here by reclaiming all five moving averages with that spinning top so it's saying that we could return to that level and uh with the 618 and the 1272 there's some nice confluence over there it doesn't mean that yeah 100 it will stop there and return back up again we are yet to even lose the one fib level so Thankfully, in the last two weeks, we're already preparing about this uh, golden pocket over here, as well as coming as deep as $111 and still potentially reclaiming this golden pocket. But what I must say, guys, is the moment you lose 126, you validate 100. It doesn't mean 100% we're going down there because, again, if we reclaim 126, then we're going back up equally like what we did with the 200 over here. We lost it, meaning we're bearish got back up so we're bullish again so you invalidated the bearish side you didn't lose 100 you didn't continue lower right over here we were meant to continue lower and lower and lower and lower if we got a daily candle close you see the closes there if they were underneath 100 we would have continued lower and lower and lower so we invalidated the bearish scenario by then heading to the highs and reclaiming them so equally we can do that again so you can still go underneath and then come back above basically. And if you were to come back above, then we're going back up, do you understand that? But we were saying over the last week, we're under the bear market box. So we are just expecting continued bearish pressure. So this is why I was marking out the key levels of support in last week's updates. I was of course saying that if we can hold these key areas of support, if we're just retracing to the golden pocket for the continuation, I was saying we must see a close above the yellow line and this golden box and the bear market box. If we can push through these three resistances, you will head to 175, 190, 250 plus. But equally, staying below the gold line, golden box, staying below the yellow line and the bear market box is just going to continually bring, continuously bring selling pressure. And so this is why we're just getting that follow through now. Again, the, the, the support hasn't yet to be lost, but again, we're waiting for that daily candle close. We've got the targets prepared over here. I hope that was pretty clear so far on the daily time frame for Quant. Now, I did get my crypto Twitter back, Louis underscore crypto. Make sure you're following me there if you are yet to we're trying to get this to 2k followers my course is currently well not currently my course is now permanently discounted to 150 pounds from 300 this will teach you from zero knowledge into a self-sufficient trader pr really going through risk management how to protect your capital at all costs the psychology behind it all all the strategies that i taught myself and was taught and taught myself from experience are in there so everything you need is there in one place you don't have to go researching further it's all there in one place this is a six hour long course with 30 plus videos it'll teach you from zero knowledge going over even the history of forex as of course it's crypto based but it teaches you both because the chart is the chart is the chart is the chart now if you want to do the the mentorship i've got two slots now open you can message me on my twitter 
or you can equally message me on my new Instagram because a lot of you do not have Twitter. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram. This is where I'm going to be posting more results from my students on the stories. So if you wanna see more results, follow my Instagram where I post results. Crypto Twitter is more for alerts and updates if uh, yeah, past the YouTube video, if anything else has happened. But you can either message me on my Instagram or on my Twitter, head over to my link tree. It is in the pinned comment section down below. You just go to the comment section or to the description or in the top right of the video, somewhere up here, there's an I, an information button, and my link tree should all be there, guys. You just hit it. Whether you want to support me as a creator because I've helped you completely free just by watching the videos, you can do so. And after if you press continue, you can send in a paragraph to explain. But or you can just, again, you should be subscribed to the YouTube, but follow my crypto Twitter, my new Instagram, and the backup Twitter over here if anything goes wrong, like it did. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Going back to the four hour quant update over here. We just got these levels prepared. Again, we have lost the 786, so we did create the reverse wave over here, and that 786 failed to push us back above the golden pocket. So in actual fact, we could have actually gone higher if we just pushed through this area, held its support, we would have gone back to the range highs. But you can see without getting above this level, this is why we're dumping back down to the one fib level. And it seems as if we're trying to lose one, two, six to head down to our next price targets down here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do like, subscribe and comment. And I hope to see you in my Discord community that we're ever growing almost at 100 now with 70 plus people in there. Again, to take action, you head over to my link tree, Instagram or crypto, Twitter and private message me there. Thank you guys.